Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Virgo, in this reading we'll be focusing on your connection with your person, we will take a look at your person's feelings, intentions, actions towards you, we will also take a look at your person's overall energy and we'll check your connection with this person. We'll also put some messages of love for you and for this connection, okay? So let's start. I, I pre-shuffled your cards so we can start. Okay, with whom we are connecting today for Virgo, please? Could you please show me way too many? You might be dealing with uh, Cancer, Virgo. Could you please show me this person? Could you please show me person on Virgo's, Virgo's mind? Could you please show me this person? Okay. We have a page of cups. We have a five of... Five of wands. Okay. Could you please show me more? <laughs> more, please. Could you please show me this person? Could you please show me the overall energy? Person that Virgo is connecting, I'm thinking of. Okay. We have three of wands. Okay. We have a page of oh sorry, page of cups, yes, the four. Virgo's person. Two of wands. Page of wands. Two pages and the full. Very immature energy. At the bottom of the deck we have the moon. Yes, this is someone who brought lots of confusion, Virgo, with the moon. It's so hot in here and... Oof. Okay. <laughs> Let's focus on your reading, Virgo. We have two pages and we have full. This is immature energy. This is someone who is quite playful and, you know, irrespective of age, they can be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. They are very immature. This is someone who is very immature indeed. And they brought so much confusion to this situation, Virgo. You might have suspected that things are not exactly what they are talking about, that they have secrets. Something here is unclear and something needs to be clarified. Clarity has to be um, this situation needs clarity, but I feel this person themselves, they are very confused with the moon because that's their overall energy. They brought confusion to the connection and they are themselves very confused. This is someone who might have this sort of um, uh, kind of dreamy vibe, someone who has their clouds, you know, their head in the clouds, someone who likes adventure, who likes to take risks, who, who doesn't think about the consequences very very kind of immature energy again i feel that there is a conflict between the two of you because this is at the heart of your person's energy i should have said this person's energy they brought drama confusion and i feel at the i feel that's something here you know you fundamentally disagree with and it ended up having an argument with this person mm-hmm They are thinking about the situation with the three of wands. I feel that there is something that you are fundamentally disagreeing with them and also that you are not on the same page. Because I strongly feel that um, you might be looking at completely different direction when it comes to specific situation here, Virgo. Okay, it can be, for instance, you might have some sort of plans or you're planning for the future and this person is or has been you know disagreeing with you for some time there is something that you are not on the same page with them and i feel it is something to do with plans long-term plans with this free of wants but i can tell you that this person is thinking about you they are thinking they are planning thinking they are waiting on you virgo this this person wants to I feel with this page of cups, they want to kind of apologize. They want to make amends, you know. But this is someone who is unba imbal unbalanced. This is someone who needs to be 
who needs to be balanced they need to be grounded they need to this is someone who needs to be rational you might be dealing here with someone who has a mood swings with the moon of two of pentacles you know once it's great when it's great and when it's really challenging it's oof really 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 difficult this is someone who's quite difficult i feel with the moon but the main message here is that because of their in immaturity they created some sort of conflict arguments and they brought confusion they want to talk with the page of wands they do want to send a message they want to meet up whatever the case might be this is someone who wants to make some sort of move towards you but again i don't feel this person recognized that they are the part of the problem well we'll see we'll see but i feel that there is a conflict between the two of you you might be dealing with pisces i have also virgo aquarius and aries you see this is they confuse you mm -hmm. let's take a look could you please show me virgo's connection with this person please we have the empress as a mutual energy okay could you please show me and ooh, we have the emperor okay we have divine masculine divine feminine energy and at the bottom of the deck we have a judgment card wow okay well there is a big soul connection between the two of you this is divine feminine divine masculine energy next to each other this is someone who feels that you are their person they i feel this person wants this connection to work out but they are very they are childish this person confused you with the moon you see we have that moon as their overall energy and i and that's your energy you, i feel that you kind of you know you don't know where you stand with this person i feel you just don't know what what, what it's going on what do you want <laughs> i really feel that with this card this is someone again who the thing is here virgo that it seems that this person wants stability with the emperor they see you as their person if there was a situation and that's what the cards are showing that you had some sort of falling out or disagreement with the judgment i feel that it's a big chance for both of you to reconcile okay because this is a major card of communication and also resu resurrection something that you know the energy that i feel this person wants to resurrect this connection with the page of cups to the ten of sorry to the five of wands this 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 person wants to kind of apologize for what they have you know they, they created some sort of conflict between the two of you i feel this person is responsible for that because i feel that you don't know where you stand with this this individual you don't know what are their plans because of that kind of in and out immature energy that they are projecting on this connection you might be thinking you know that they have secrets something here it's it's, it's not clear with the judgment things will be um there is a clarity coming because it is also some sort of announcement with the ace of wands on your energy i feel virgo that you want from this person some sort of action but action that it's it's that it's not just based on some sort of you know um passion you want something solid here ace of wands is very creative energy you want stability you want i feel that and this is mutual energy virgo i i feel here that um you both want growth you want both this connection to develop it to something very beautiful you might be dealing with gemini taurus aries very strongly is coming forward also scorpio pisces again 
I feel that both of you, you know, they want both of you want to see growth, want, want this connection. This person is planning for the future. They are thinking about you. And I feel, you know, on your side here with this Ace of Wands, you do want some sort of action. I feel that you just want to know where you stand with this person. And you want them to explain themselves. Let's see more, please. What is this moon? Could you please show me this moon? Could you please show me this moon? Why moon for Virgo? Why moon for Virgo's connection with this person, please? You have a six of pentacles. And what do we have? We have seven of wands, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile. And I feel that you'll be open to, for, for the apology. I feel that equally both of you, you know, want this situation to work out. But this person has a... This person is giving you mixed signals, Virgo. I feel this person wants, they really want you. And once they are giving you a impression that... And, and, and at the end, they are pushing you away with the seven of wands. This is someone who's giving you mixed signals. That's why you are confused. They're creating drama, arguments. And what I feel that, you know, you do have feelings for them with the six of cups. I feel that you feel strong soul connection. And, you know, we have an empress, an emperor. So spirit is emphasizing that indeed there is a big strong soul connection. This is divine feminine, divine masculine energy. This is a pair. This is a queen and king of tarot. <laughs> but I feel this person is giving you mixed signals and you just want stability. You know, very, very interesting thing is here that this person wants to have stability as well. But with the emperor, I feel that they want also this connection to Devonope or they want to have a control over this connection. This is someone with, with the emperor, someone who is controlling, who can be controlling. And I feel this person, um, you might be dealing here with someone who has this very strong sense of independence. And it's very difficult for them to adjust, to change this. Because there is something here that you are disagreeing with this individual. And I feel it's not the first time that it's happening. But love is there, big soul connection. This person sees you as their divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Please take it at it resonates. And I feel, I feel it's mutual. But the problem is that they are giving you mixed signals. I feel that at the end of the day, you just want them to say it, how they see it, how they see the future. If there is, you know, what, where we stand, what's going on, because once you are, you're fully in, and once you are just giving me impression that, you know, you are very defensive when, it, when you start, you know, when we are disagreeing and you're pushing me away. And I feel that's the deal for some of you Virgos. For cross watchers, for cross watcher, you might feel that Virgo is acting that way towards you. Okay. Mixed signals. And you know, at the end of the day, you might feel, well, I don't know. I feel that you just breadcrumbed me. Sorry, my dogs. That's what you are saying. It's, it's, it's you. You might be feeling something like that, something of this kind, Virgo. You know, you are saying this just, just to kind of. I don't know. Make me feel comfortable. You might be thinking that way, or you might be getting that sort of impression, with this six of pentacles. You want this person to clarify themselves. You, I feel that you want to know where you stand with this person. Because equally both of you want this connection to, 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 to progress, to grow into something long term and beautiful with this Empress energy. But they are they, 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 they bringing confusion. You don't know. They, they behavior. Once they are fully in and it's all great and, and, and you know next day this person might be just 
acting the way they're pushing you away. This is someone who's giving you mixed signals. And I feel that they, because of that, and because of their kind of maybe immature ways, I feel this person is immature. They are bringing confusion to this connection. Let's take a look. But with the judgment card, I feel something here will be clarified. And there is a reconciliation very much visible between the two of you. Okay. Let's take a look at this person's feelings, Virgo. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Virgo? This person's feelings towards Virgo. Show me this person's feelings towards Virgo. Let's see. We have the Five of Cups. Okay. This person's feelings towards Virgo. Feelings towards Virgo. Feelings towards Virgo. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have Five of Cups. We have the Sun. We have a King of Wands. And we have nine of cups. Well, this person is very regretful here. I feel this person uh, is recognizing that they made a mistake and they might be feeling that, you know, that was a, they say, said something. I feel this person said something that they regret. They are thinking, oh, I think it was too much. This is someone who is very unhappy. This person loves you, Virgo. They see you as the sun, as a source of their happiness. This is someone who feels very comfortable in your company. They love your company. They feel that they can be themselves with you. But I feel because of their ways, in their feelings, they feel that they messed up. That they messed up things with you. This is someone who is very regretful for what they said. That's what is coming forward here. This is someone who's regretful uh, for this dynamic, that they created that sort of dynamic, that they brought this confusion. Because the truth is that this person is in love with you. They love you. They see you as the source of their happiness. You might be dealing with Leo. I have also... Aries is coming forward very strongly. And Sagittarius. This person sees you as they wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. They want, they want to be with you. They want you, Virgo. They are in love with you, essentially. But they are regretful here about their behavior, what they said during, you know, this heated conversation. And I feel that, you know, they're having a, that kind of a... They are reminiscing about the whole situation. But because maybe this is someone, Virgo, who've been for a long time by their own and they have habits. They've never, or it's been a long time since they had to kind of uh, compromise or they had to take into cons consideration the other person's views and them, um, you know, as a, as a, as a partner that's why you know it gives me some sort of kind of bachelor bachelor's kind of vibe someone who've been for a long time single or who had casual you know connections and suddenly they met you they see you as their divine counterpart but because of their ways they are creating this very strange energy that at the end you might feel that you don't know what this person wants do they want the real connection or because you are pushing me away, you might be thinking about this person. And once you are very passionate and, you know, you are very kind of in or very involved in this connection. But this is something in their feelings, Virgo. This person loves you. They see you as a source of their happiness. They know that they see an opportunity for happiness with you. But they are regretful about something. I feel something that they said. And overall, I feel that they are regretful about their behavior and that confusion that they brought into this connection. But they see you as they wish fulfillment. This person is thinking about you very strongly. It's coming forward. They are thinking about you. I feel this person put you on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. 
you might say well they've never made you they may, they've never made me feel that way it might be true but this is uh in their feelings they feel you have it all and i feel this person is thinking that they messed up they messed up something that had such a beautiful potential for happiness the thing is that not everything is lost because the two of cups is there i feel that both of you share feelings of love you both have feelings of love for each other this person just has to work on their habits they need to come and apologize they need to bring clarity to the situation because it's not fair for you to just you know assuming what they want to do or if they have you know um serious intentions towards you they need to clarify themselves what they really want but if you're asking if this person loves you they do they do could you please show me this person's intentions towards virgo could you please show me this person's intentions towards virgo what is this what do we have we have a four of cups we have a knight of cups we have an eight of swords and we have ten of pentacles this person wants to have stability at the bottom of the deck we have the death card mm -hmm. change mm -hmm. but go this person in their intentions they want to change with the death card they want some sort of transformation here and i feel in their intentions they are coming with this knight of cups with this cup of love of an apology i feel they're coming very forward here with an apology and i feel that they will say listen i really i know i know that i am the way i am and i want to change this and i feel this person will say that they do want to be with you virgo the thing is i don't like to say it but that's what they are showing me with this four of cups with this eight of swords this person is aware that they might met with rejection i feel they've put you in that sort of kind of combative energy you know this and it seems that this person created it they didn't have to do it but they created it and at the end of the day you might feel that this person it's a hard work and you just don't want to entertain it that's what they think I feel that you know you just want to know where you stand with this person you want some sort of consistency some sort of clarity I feel that both of you want this connection but in their intentions you know this is someone who will come with an apology they know exactly that you can reject them I tell you one thing here Virgo this is a very difficult for them to change their ways because the eight of swords shows that this person feels blocked or limited or kind of trapped in their habits the thing is that this is a mindset this is just a perception and they can change it i feel in their intentions they do want to do that they want to change the situation in order to be with you but they are perfectly aware of their ways and i feel you know this is intention this is that's what they would like to do but this person recognized that somehow they are quite limited here but they do want to work on it i feel this is you, you are dealing here with a creature of habit you know someone who is that way immature you know they 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 I don't feel that this person had to deal with some sort of kind of I feel that this person never had I don't know maybe some sort of responsibility I don't know it gives me a very immature vibe someone who might be very successful but they are very immature when it comes to emotions in their intentions they want to change it because we had this overall energy represented by the death card so they do want to change they want to transform they want to transit you know they want to they, they want some sort of change 
in order to build something stable here with you but at the moment I feel that this person wants to talk about the situation that they feel you know somehow limited in their actions or you know in their behavior that they they know that they are creating the situation but with the eight of swords it's it, it essentially showing that this person is saying oh you know it's 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 the way I am I can't change it I will try to do it but it's very difficult for me which is an, which is nonsense because it's a mindset of course he can he maybe you are dealing with you know divine masculine it doesn't have to be but of course they can change it of course they can it's a mindset well they in their intentions they want to do that Let's take a look. Let's pull some messages of love. Let's take those in here. Let's see. Let's see. Could you please show me Virgo's connection with this person, please? You might be dealing with Scorpio. We have a chemistry. So the attraction you feel is mutual. Mm -hmm. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Well, we have divine masculine, divine feminine energy. please show me more could you please show me more for Virgo here and now second chance interference the external part is intruding in this relationship it can be a case for some of you, Virgo, that indeed this person has, this interference is the, I see this interference where, when I look at this, uh, this energy that this person is just, they have their ways and this is what they, what, what intruding on this co relationship connection, it's their ways, inconsistent, quite in and out, the attitude might be quite indeed immature and drama, arguments, the thing is here that there is this insane chemistry between the two of you. Fate, spirit is saying here that, you know, that it is a very kind of, it might be a fated relationship indeed. We have divine masculine, divine feminine energy here and now. Your true love is already part of your life. Second chance. I feel this person is coming with an apology. They want a second chance. If you had a falling out, this person wants to be given a second chance. It seems that this connection is very profound, very kind of a, very, it, it holds some, it holds a meaning. It might be a twin flame connection. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with a twin flame, with a twin. <laughs> That this connection is a twin. Uh, that this connection, it, it, that it is a twin flame connection. I apologize <laughs> for confusion. Well, you know, I'm talking about the moon <laughs> and my language is bringing probably a bit of confusion as well. Oh gosh. Okay. Nevertheless, I can tell you that this person sees you as their source of happiness. They are reminiscing about what they said. Oh, again. They might be reminiscing overall about this connection and how they behaved in this connection or how about their behavior never um, however i feel that it's coming forward very strongly that they feel that they messed things up uh, this person is coming with an apology and i feel that they will ask for a second chance mm -hmm. but they need to work on themselves Okay, let's take a look. Could you please show me this person's actions, please? Could you please show me this person's actions, please? Virgo's person's actions towards Virgo. This person's actions towards Virgo, please. Six of Cups. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords the world at the bottom of the deck the tower okay so something unexpected here virgo 
you might be dealing with Scorpio I have also Aquarius very strong Scorpio Leo Taurus so <sighs> So Virgo, this person will, will, will make attempt to reconcile with you, okay, with the Six of Cups. They're coming with an apology. And I feel this person will hold a conversation. There will be a conversation with this person. And I feel this person will essentially say something that is quite shocking. And I don't feel, you know, that with this energy, I don't feel it will be something uh, bad. I know that we have Nine of Swords here, but I, I'll explain this person it's anxious they are anxious that it's too late this is what i'm getting it's too late they are stressing they are obsessing over you they are worrying that you want that you reject that you will reject them they are coming with an apology this person will make attempt to apologize or to reconcile with you they will say something of this kind listen I know that I've been nothing but, but the pain, let's say it that way. I caused you so much worry and anxiety. I am perfectly aware of that. Certain things need more time for me. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. Slow and steady win the race. That's, I feel, what they will kind of will explain or will try to kind of present themselves that indeed they are aware of what they caused you that so much worry and anxiety stress i feel this person will apologize for their actions and they they would say listen in order to fully change to make some sort of change with the world to complete the cycle of of me being the way I am and my habits, I need more time with the Knight of Pentacles. And if you are willing to give me this time, you know, and we can have something very beautiful. And I feel it will be quite shocking. Because what I'm getting here from this energy, when I look at this person's energy, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this energy, you know, this energy of someone who might be quite cocky, you know, who might be sometimes even arrogant. Some, someone who just... It's, it's very childish and I feel the way they will express themselves I feel it will be quite shocking for you with this tower it will be something really unexpected and surprising this person will essentially admit that they are perfectly aware that they caused you this dissatisfaction worry and anxiety and but they need more time something here needs more time they will say I feel in order for them to to completely, I don't know, close certain chapter in their life. It can be a case for some of you. We are connecting with collective energy, Virgo, so there will be many scenarios. Or they will essentially say, I've been in so long in this energy. Therefore, I, I, you know, I need more time. But I do want you in my life. I care for you very much. I feel it will be quite shocking for you they will they, they will they will communicate with you they have a guilty conscience Virgo mm -hmm. let's take a look could you please give me overall outcome for this connection could you please show me an overall outcome outcome for Virgo's connection with this person please Ask for Virgo's connection with this person, please. We have an Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Death card. So clarity is coming. There will be a very important conversation. Uh, you will have a very, you know, I feel that indeed, you know, as much as I feel that you are very confused at the moment and this person is bringing, I think, I feel for some of you, they are just keep on bringing so much confusion to this, to this, to this connection. With the Ace of Swords, things uh, will gain their clarity. I feel the truth will be communicated to you. And um, because Ace of Swords, it's, it's a card of ultimate fairness, truth and justice. Ace of Swords brings clarity to the situation. So 
there will be a conversation. I feel this person will reach out or you will just have a conversation based on truth, clarity, logic and, you know, that kind of very uh, grounded, uh, based on very grounded approach. So I feel that you will indeed gain a certain clarity about the situation. With the death card as an overall energy for this connection, a spirit essentially is showing that certain things Ha, you know, they have to change. You can't continue that way. Because it is a card of ultimate endings, but it's also a card of transformation. Therefore, it depends on the reading, on surrendering cards. The death card doesn't, doesn't need to indicate an ending itself. It, it is a sign from the universe that in order for this connection to fully work and for you to really kind of come into this union of divine fe feminine divine masculine uh, you know that 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 beautiful fated union moderation is very needed within this connection because um, if this person will keep on behaving that way at some point I feel that you will be essentially bored and you will reject this individual because how long you can be confused but I feel that they do want to change this situation they really want to put some work on it and we had in their intentions the death card as an as a overall energy they do want to change their habits their ways change the situation and here as an overall energy for this reading you might feel Virgo for some of you that it's over between the two of you uh, spirit is saying that it's not but in order for this connection to move into the next level this person has to remove obstacles something that is intruding on this connection and a certain adjustment and change has to be implicated in order for this to fully work it's it's essential but spirit is saying that you can expect a very very significant conversation with this person where clarity uh, will be presented to you okay so it's very likely that you will reconcile with this person i will leave it here virgo my dear Virgo, thank you so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. I wish you all the very best. I really, really do. And I truly appreciate you. Thank you so very much for being with me. Thank you once again, Virgo. Take care. Bye.